Hello, hello. What is good, my ghouls and goblins? Ah, get a quick sip here. Wet my whistle. I just got done doing a lot of talking. So I'm a little raspy here. I'm a little phlegmy, if I'm being honest. Because I'm sure you were wondering what the mucus level was like this evening. Pretty phlegmy. And there's your weekly mucus update. Still staving off this damn cold. I don't know if it's still a cold at this point. But I've got this awful cough I can't get rid of. And I'm just, I'm a slime factory right now. It's just coming out. Buckets of slime. Every day. I'm blowing my nose. I'm trying to live my life. And it's been hard. It's been so hard. And I haven't gotten over it quite yet. So excuse me if I'm a little raspy. I'm going to try my best here. I just got done, like not even a couple minutes ago, I just got done podcasting. Um, that being said, I better turn up the brightness on my monitor. Hello. Get that up there. I've been so good about this lately. There we go. Brightness up on the monitor. Much better. Just got done podcasting with uh, Ben Rayner over on the Multiverse of Geekdom YouTube channel. He had me on as part of the What Are You Watching um, weekly show that they do, where they have a guest on, and they talk about something you watched recently. Go figure. Um, we talked about Silent Hill, the movie, the 2006 movie, which I think is a pretty underrated movie. I think I like it quite a bit. I think it actually aged into an even better movie. Um, I don't think it got a fair shake, but I wanted to talk about it because they just recently announced amongst several games, a new Silent Hill movie. So it was a good excuse to watch the classic one and um, talk about it at length on his channel. So first of all, go check that out. Multiverse of Geekdom on YouTube. Ben's a good dude, good channel. Uh, I recommend you check it out and listen to our episode. Let me know what you think. But it's a survival horror kind of night because look at this. We're returning to Resident Evil Village. And I'm so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time because I think, I, 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 yeah, I think so. Of all the games that I've streamed on this channel, and this is going back, but all the games I've streamed on this channel, I think Resident Evil Village still stands as my favorite so far. I love this game. Had a blast playing through it the first time. And if you missed it the first time, that's all over on our YouTube channel, so go check that out. Watt Real Entertainment, baby. Um, but tonight, we're going to be playing the Story DLC, which I have been waiting for, the Shadows of Rose DLC, which takes place after the primary story of the game, following Ethan's daughter, who you rescue in the main story of the game. Um, we're going to be playing as her and seeing what our favorite little mold baby's been up to all these years. And I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm so excited to play this game again. Um... We're going to be also playing it in third-person mode. I think the DLC is only in third-person mode. But that's something they added on this Windsor expansion. They added this new story DLC. They added a bunch of mercenaries content. And they added the, the possibility to play through the main story in third-person mode as well. Um, which I don't really anticipate replaying any of the main story. I was going to maybe do some New Game Plus stuff. Um, and then I forgot that I'm on a different PS4 than I was. And I never bothered to import my save data. So I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll toy around with it. But primarily, we're going to be doing the Shadows of Rose story DLC. I don't think... Well, actually, I'm very confident in saying I'm not going to finish it all tonight. I'm not going to do the whole thing, even though I understand it's not too long. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing because I... <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw my Pumpkin Jack stream... But something I decided I'm not going to do is pressure myself into streaming for very long periods of time because I don't think it's good for me. So I'm not going to force myself to play this for upwards of four hours tonight. I think I'm going to start it, and I think I'm going to end wrap up around 11 o'clock tonight. I think that's going to be the goal. Find a good stopping point and call tonight. So let's see what trouble we can get into. Let's have some fun with this. Let's get a little spooked out. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good night. Hope you're ready for the weekend. Almost upon us. 
But before we get there, we're doing the Shadows of Rose DLC. Let's give it a shot. Let me also... Something I've been struggling with lately is seemingly having the sound and my audio balance correctly. Let's see. Let's lower this a little. Um, let's 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 leave it there. What is virtual surround? Turn virtual surround for headphones on off. Well, I got headphones on, so I guess I'll turn it on. Match your surroundings. Um, hmm, not sure about that. I guess that doesn't matter because I've got headphones on, right? Okay. Let's do that. Did save it? It did. Hopefully that sounds okay. I'll try and do an audio test when we're actually playing the game. I always do the audio tests on the menu screen, which are much quieter than the game itself. Shadows of Rose, let's go. Oh, look, could have been doing it from this menu screen the whole time. How embarrassing. Um, we recommend you play Shadows of Rose after completing the main story. Yes, we've completed the main story, but the game doesn't know that because it doesn't have our save data on this console. And I'm gonna play standard because I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to impress anybody. That's what I'm saying. I, need, I think I need to take it a little more easy on myself on these streams. <clears throat> I did not have a <laughs> great time when I streamed Pumpkin Jack the other night. If you saw it, you know it. I'm not proud of it. Hey, okay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. No thank you. Well, Chris is probably that. getting pretty old at this point. It is about you. Me? I, if I worry about you... How is, um, how are things at school? Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? You mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Oh. Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You're just I'm part of a f fungal hive mind. It's not I a big deal. distance from everybody at school. Everybody goes through that I when they grow up. Really was. So, you don't have any friends that you can talk to? Talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. Get rid of your powers. You already know about Miranda and the mutamice heat, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamice heat from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However... The quest for the magic crystal. I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh... In there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamice heat. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, okay, Stick your so face in there. You, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, yes, 
yes, Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what Poke it. Okay. Fine. What the hell? Really? Would people be mean to? I guess they probably would. I don't know. It seems like whenever somebody has like superpowers in fiction in high school, all their their peers and classmates bully them. I don't know. I think if one of my classmates had superpowers, I'd I'd be considerably nice to them. Right? Don't you think? Maybe not. I guess being different is always a risk. I also don't... I don't know what kind of powers Rose has. I don't know how they're manifesting and what people's perception of her is. I'm still here? Kay. Kay? Is this all in our Where head? Where are you? Kay! The meta... meta... This meta site? Isn't right. Ta-da! We're playing! Find the purifying crystal. Rose Winters in the quest for the purifying crystal. I am going into this game a little bit blind. The sensitivity on this is really... Is there anything about sensitivity? Actually, I don't think I see anything. I guess not. Okay. This feels very sensitive. I'm going into this a little blind. I don't actually know much about what exactly the story is. I know we're Rose, and I think we end up going back to the village slash castle that the base game took place in. Probably to get ourselves that crystal. All right, let's see. Miranda's research claims that the Mega My site preserves the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence, absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous encounters with the mold, that people who are contaminated with the mutamycete... I never know how to say... Mutamycete? Mutamycite? Mutamycete? ...are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate from this, we can surmise that subjects with a strong affinity to the mutamycite... You know, my seat, that sounds better. You know, my seat, he just said what it, he said it out loud too. Should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of the dead within the mega my seat. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's mega my seat sample we collected 16 years ago. Me? We just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycete. my seat. Certainly the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from the preservation and indexing of human consciousness. The possibility is preserving or even reclaiming great minds. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Yeah, this is the Resident Evil universe. There is most definitely a way to cut through the red tape. Wait. 
Yeah, there it is. We're just in mold world. And so as you can see, this obviously, from a gameplay standpoint, resembles the other games they've been making in this franchise. The remakes of RE2 and 3, and presumably the remake of 4 that comes out next year, which I'm also really excited about. Ooh. Sorry, I had to uh, turn my head and cough there. Still coughing. I don't know. When I get sick, I tend to get, even if it's just a cold, I tend to really go down. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a big baby. But, like, I've got this cough, and I can't shake it. So we're already, we're already there. Is that, like, a pig? Helmet? I don't remember that before. We're in the castle. I don't think this whole thing is going to be in Rose's head, right? I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. No, right? We're like reliving somebody's memory. Somebody else who wanted this crystal. And then once we see where it is, we'll be able to go here for real and go get it. Yeah, I'm not sure how Rose's powers work, but presumably they'll factor into the combat and com combat combat and gameplay once we get there. And I'll be interested to see how that. Okay, it's just a blood ceiling. A shoe? Who throws a shoe? Honestly. You know, let me do that aforementioned audio check real quick. Here it comes. You know, let me do that aforementioned audio check real quick. Here it comes. Sounds okay. Yeah. I know the game's still not very loud, but... It's what is this? It's like blackberry jelly. Jelly spill on aisle two. Game's not very loud still, but like, once it gets loud, I'm not gonna wanna do a sound check, right? Because I'll be chased by Let me out. some sort of eldritch baby. Is someone there? Hello. Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. We shouldn't really burden ourselves with that, Rose. I don't think we can... I think it's far too late to save that person. We'd just be saving the memory of them. I'd been debating, too, about... I would mentioned it last time I streamed on Halloween. By the way, I hope you had a great Halloween. Um, I had thought out loud about maybe do, still doing a Halloween special in Dreams, a belated Halloween special. Because I spent a lot of time, actually, like, curating the Dreams. Rose... That's my name. But but if that's my name, uh, that means... Uh, I spent a lot of time and was really looking forward to doing a Halloween special in Dreams. I found a lot of cool content, like new and old, that was... What are we doing? Just stopping that from moving. I was really looking forward to showcasing it and playing it and like doing a really long Dreams Hangout. Like I actually had made a collection of it in Dreams. But I got to the end of Pumpkin Jack. It was Halloween night and I was like, you know what? I think I've got enough Halloween streaming closure here. 
and I've got a lot of different stuff I want to play, and I just I don't think I I don't think I want to do it anymore. So, unfortunately, I've canceled the Halloween Dream Special in favor of streaming this tonight. Hey, there's that good item sound. All right, lady, I'm coming back for you, unless. The marmalade man has something to say about it. What the hell is this stuff? View key items in the inventory. Get it? Ooh. Was this here before? Makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Just left the treatment room. Now there's a big jelly wall here. Gross. What was that? This really does look a lot like grape or strawberry jelly. I don't remember this jelly from the original story. Good news, you can enter this hellscape. What's this? I'm getting smuckered. going to be the child version of somebody we've met in the story. Oh, it's me! It was me the whole time! Interesting. So this version of Rose is, unless this is just a whole psychological thing, but this version of Rose is maybe a copy Wait up. of somebody else who lived inside the mutamite seat or megamite seat. I thought for a moment it would be Maybe like a child version of somebody we had met in the base game. Because I it wasn't sure when this was taking place because it's a big spooky castle, but the contemporary story was also in a big spooky castle. They didn't really update the decor much. Help me lift. But maybe this actually is... <laughs> Supposed to take place somewhere closer to the actual Dark Ages? Hey, wait, where are you going? Yeah, I didn't want to wait really any longer to play this. I was really excited for it. And in a world where I'm streaming still by this time next year we could maybe do a dream special then oh, what the fuck another me Three little girls in that drawing. Are there three me's? Oh, yes, there are. 
Do you know what's happening here? Hey, are you listening to me? Oh no! Oh! It's gone! And the switch handle's missing. Need to open the gate! Need to find that, that handle quickly. Go deeper. Oh, first it was jelly, now it's mustard. You crawl through there. You can also climb in here. Yeah, normally I would say, okay, we're caught in some sort of weird fungus dream dimension. We're seeing a bunch of duplicates of ourselves. It's probably just some weird, trippy psychological thing, but I've got a feeling that maybe there once was a lot of us. And that this might actually be something literal. The mice eat, spits people out. They look like this. Which would be unexpected because I actually think the character model for Rose looks quite a bit like her mother. I think Mia was her name? So many bodies. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> She's not finished! Really? Put her back! Oh god! Put her back in the jelly. She's not ready. Who's this yellow man? Getting their sauce on everything. What? <laughs> oh, yuck! different no! fungal blast Faster, must go faster. Oh god, we can't go that way. Oh god, we can't go that way. Wait, what's happening? Oh no! <laughs> Don't eat my face. Oh, there we go. No way. I was like, what door is supposed to be opening? Yeah, these guys are a little different. Hey, wait a minute. I know this room. Dead end. This fucking room. This had that awful physics puzzle I got stuck on for like 20 minutes. No. Stay back. With the lantern. Whatever. Yeah, get out of here, Rose. Don't make me do that again. I swear to God. Anybody who saw my original Resident Evil Village playthrough? This way. Oh, I stepped in the, the gap. Legs. 
I very stubbornly got stuck on a puzzle in that room. An optional puzzle. Those guys are a little different. They're kind of like the fungi guys from RE7, but I don't remember them being able to suck your soul out of your mouth. I don't remember getting your soul sucked in that game. Hey, I remember this room too. This is uh, Lady D's place. Is, I wonder. I wonder if Ethan's talking to us. What are you? Not enemy. Okay. Because couldn't Ethan theoretically be alive somehow in things? here? What is happening here? How? What is this? Where am I? I don't know. Maybe the entire game does take place in this Not until I limbo get this state. Out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. This is totally Ethan, right? Who are you? My guardian angel? I am daddy. Sure. Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Michael. Okay. Michael? What now? I'm not buying it. I think it's Ethan. I don't remember anybody named Michael. I think it's Ethan playing playing coy. Probably doesn't want to say it's I'm your father because that would be quite distressing and distracting in this scenario. Yeah, I remember this room. I think Ethan gets like put on a meat hook or something in this room. He had a rough go at it. Okay, that goes in there. Is this door open? Okay, that leads like more outward into the mansion the slash castle. It is a grand honor that you would bestow upon me such an important task. I can report the liquid void you provided has some splendid properties. Its most obvious use is for my dogs on their hunt, aiding them as they pursue our quarry. It also does wonders for slowing down and quarreling the rabbits. Some have even been foolish enough to stumble into it and have been completely engulfed. With this, I am certain I will be able to fulfill your expectations and get you the results you so desire. Cool. So yeah, actually, I think maybe this entire game will take place in this... That's a, is that a wolf? That's a big-ass wolf. And this fungus void my immediate ex expectation is we'll go on this big long journey to find where the crystal's at and by the end we'll learn to ex ex accept our powers and what makes us different and then we won't even want to go get it but the emotional reward of that journey will be catharsis enough. what do you think do you think I nailed it? These poor things. Yeah, I didn't know about all the rose clones. That's freaky. Is that... Is that big boy? That sounds like my, my big boy. <laughs> a 
Although he sounds decisively more sinister than I remember him being. The Baron? Is that his name? It is him! Lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Let me go! Let me go! It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. Ah, oh, she got smuckered! A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be oh. yours. There it is. Crystal. <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> oh, now we have a new little rabbit to Is he the villain of this? Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Oh, wow. What is that? Uh, I'm not gonna stick around to find out. Wow, so Big Boy used to be a bit of a bad boy too, eh? Thank God, a way out. Shit! What That's interesting because he was pretty benevolent in the main story. Unless that's like his great grandpa or something. Seriously? Why don't you just Where conjure one up gun? for me? Oh, it is going to conjure one up for me. What, like this? USA! USA! <laughs> That's, um, that's actually what happens as soon as you are granted U.S. citizenship. A handgun magically materializes in your hands. Oh. Spongy little devil, aren't you? Yeah, I, I guess this whole game is going to take place in this, like, fugue state. Okay. I, I do kind of hope... All right, that looks like not the way to go. I do kind of hope it... isn't just backtracking primarily through settings from the base game. Because so far, everything we've seen... was in the main story. Cause let's be clear, this wasn't a, this is not a cheap DLC. This is a big twenty bucks right here. They're gone. And there's more to the DLC than just this, but this is this is primarily what I got got it for. Like if this wasn't part of it, I I wouldn't this have got it. Must be the crystal. Okay, let's just take it. Although I guess taking it wouldn't really do anything, right? Because we're not really here. Okay. Oh, can we not get it? Is there glass in that? We just do this. Looks like we have ourselves... Maybe not a puzzle, but we're going to have to collect some things and put them in here, and then we can get that, right? The disciples await their masks. Bronze, silver, gold. I guess I need to find these masks to unlock it. Welcome to the Resident Evil universe, Rose. What was the last line? With their garb arrayed, the light shall be released. Okay. 
Oh, we need to, we need some juice. What is, wait, how's my, where did I get my inventory? Yeah, we need some juice. Just dump it on. There we go. Not that I have anything against the setting of this game. I think the setting of this game is spectacular. I think it's beautiful. I think it's well realized. It just is the exact same. And it's not like they rushed this out or anything. It's been a it's more than a solid year since the base game came out. Ooh, we get a key. We get a shotgun. Grant me that which the, sees the truth through its three eyes. Go ahead and reload. Great. That's chained up. I'll have to recover my bearings of this place, too. Um, yeah, I, I would just like to see, you know... Maybe something a little new in terms of setting. Obviously, it's going to... Ugh. Obviously, it's going to primarily take place here. Oh, shit. Oh! They're way faster than I would have thought. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like to see that happen to Rose. Can I use doors? Looks like no. Sometimes you have to know when to pick your battles and when to just move on. But this feels like... Feels like we need to go this way. Yeah, I kind of remember this area. I feel like this is more... Oh, no, the windows are still broken, huh? This place hasn't changed much in however... It feels like maybe a few hundred years have at least passed between whenever this is happening in the base game. Okay, bolt cutters. We can use those on the chains back there. Anyway, the point I've been circling around is I just hope, I hope the DLC isn't purely reused assets. Over here. What about right here? Well, well, well. Here we go again. What is this? Four streams in a row? Let's see. We had this happen during Outlast, Dreams, Pumpkin Jack, now this. Four streams in a row, which it disconnected. Oh. I don't know, man. I don't know. If this is something... <laughs> If this is something that's always going to happen, it's very, it's very defeating. I, it, ma it makes me like wonder, is it even, is it even ultimately going to be worth doing? If I can't reliably depend on this. <sighs> I don't know what to do about this, man. Every single stream now. At some point, the stream just stops. And I've said it before, it doesn't seem to be a thing with my console. It doesn't seem to be an issue with my internet connection. It seems to be just something that happens on the Twitch end. And I don't know I don't know what to do about that. I don't know. I don't know. I need to do some research into this because it is incredibly irritating. Very irritating and uh, just a shame. Just a shame. Anyway. 
We're back. Shadows of Rose. Uh, why don't you cut the VODs together before going on YouTube? I don't know what exactly the last thing you saw was, but I walked over here and a box of ammo was materialized out of thin air for me by Michael. <sighs> oh well, I was going to wait a while till putting this VOD up anyway because... I was talking with Matt about this, but I'm thinking of thinking of starting a separate YouTube channel specifically for the Twitch archives instead of putting it all on the main feed. Ow. Mask trapped. Break core. Core. You mean that gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Use your powers. My powers? I literally came here to get rid of them. Okay, fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? Amplifier. This thing's pretty hideous. There's a gross lumpy thing growing here. It's like sort of... Sort of plant-like, but has kind of an insectoid quality to it. Yeah, I'm thinking of archiving the Twitch stuff on a separate channel. Because right now I just feel like it's so different than what people probably subscribe to us on YouTube for. And my fear would be that somebody who subscribed for like movie reviews and podcasts and trailer reactions and stuff like that. Wow, there are a lot of different things to resolve in this area. My fear is like somebody would come to our channel for that and then they'd be like, why... Why does this guy keep uploading, like, four-hour recordings of him playing video games? I don't care about that. And I kind of treat the YouTube uploads just as an archive anyway. Because I don't want to lose this stuff once the VODs go away. And I don't know about you, but I'm someone who actually likes watching full streams uploaded to YouTube. Because I very rarely can see some of my favorite streamers live. I can use these things and combine them together. Herb and chem fluid, gum powder and chem fluid. These, there might be more items I can combine. I need to do whatever I can to survive. Okay. Craft more ammo. In the crafting menu. Was there crafting? There was, right? I, Yeah, so we can get more health. They wanted me to get more ammo. I kind of need the health, but they said more ammo, so I'll just do that. Oh, I can do both? No, I can't. Why not? I need more chem fluid. Oh, well, that was deceptive. I only did the ammo because that's what it said on the screen. I need health. More than the ammo right now. More me's. What is this? The Nintendo Wii? Because I'm seeing a lot of me's around here. Oh, fuck. Alright, just. That's right. You can't go in there. That's not an option. Oh, God. Oh, get off her, you freak. Oh god, there's two of them! Uh, 
Back it up. Oh, come on! Is that the first death? They're pretty quick. Okay, what? what's happening? I think I'm dead. It was weird. I was seemingly stuck. Yeah, poor Jelly. Oh, God. Oh, God. You are lost. Not dead. You're just lost. I don't know what was happening there. I Maybe I my foot was in the jelly. I couldn't get away, and I couldn't aim. They are pretty quick. I think I'm going to have to make a point to put distance between me and them more frequently. Well, I think I'm still going to craft ammo because there's two of them in there. And if I run out of ammo, I'm still going to die anyway, right? Yeah, they could take a lot of damage, too. Oh! Back here, boyo. Ah, damn it. You're dead for real, right? Okay, good. They remind me a lot of, like, cigarette ashes. They look more ashy than moldy to me. They look like the human embodiment, the personification of cigarette ash. What's that? Hmm. So we need an amplifier to break those things. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> that, that snuck up on me somehow. Hello? Oh shit. Say no. Just say no. Damn it! Oh. I, I very much dislike that. Oh, we're struggling. Yeah, when she gets really damaged. Oh, okay. There's like a cooldown where you just have to get away. Okay, where's he at? Hello? They can catch up to you really quickly. So, like, re retreating is going to be a necessity with these guys. Oh, where is... Where is, where is the you? <clears throat> come on. I'd like for him to come out while I'm in the door frame. He's not going to go for that, though. Once I know he's coming, I'm going to piss off a bit. I don't want to fight him in this close quarters. I think he's like right over there. I need to 
I need to bait him a bit. Hello? Oh, you really retreated. Oh, you're all the way down there. Did I cross the precipice too hard? Ah, I don't have many shots left. I need to make these count. I don't have a lot of health either. So I need to make that count too. Oh, I don't like him. Can I get him? Ah, oh, thank God. Whew. Ah, oh, resources are growing scarce pretty early on here. Oh, come on. We gotta go. Are they coming? They're not. The door closed. Well, that's good case in there. Can we craft anything right now? Health or ammo? I need the health, but again, it's like... Oh no, I can't. I need gunpowder. I can craft health. Okay, well, I'll, we'll wait and see on that. We'll wait and see what becomes necessary. Nope. No way I'm waiting through that. Maybe I can find a way across. Oh, she said nope, too. I don't even know what it was, but we both said nope. <laughs> what? Ugh. Oh, is that the way we came from? Jesus. I want to act like I'm surprised. Okay, then I think we have to go this way. What is, um, what is over here? Can we comment on that already? No. Maybe that's the amplifier? Okay, what's in here? Oh, we're just gonna have to go up the steps. Oh, oh okay, it's just the, sh it's just the jelly. It's just the jelly sounds. The jelly is growling is all it was. Oh, okay, we're fine. More yellow. I wonder what that's all about. Alright, no problem. For a little while longer. Yeah, it's oh look, it's a toidle. Big toidle. That's new. We have uh, like a melee? Oh <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? That was right up there with my battery. My wasted batteries in Outlast. That hurt my soul. I was just fumbling with the buttons, looking for a melee. Like a knife strike or something. I'm guessing maybe my, like, superpowers will become my melee. Fucking. Wasted a bullet. I remember this area in the main game too.
this. It's an amplifier and a save. I have found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the muta my site my seat. I don't know why I can't decide how I want to pronounce that. Network by introducing a disruptive force to block the auto inducers they use for communication. For example, the hard packed cores of mold known as Slarosha begin to break down on a cellular level and disintegrate when thus disrupted. Uh, that's what we do. That's like our thing. Oh, that's the kind of flask so, that. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Our dismembered baby parts were held in. Focus? Focus. All right. I feel different somehow. Use on core. Try now. All right. Let's see if this works. Just return to the courtyard, eh? All right, we've got two chem fluids. Let's go ahead and, oops, let's go ahead and heal. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and save again. Now we've got fungus powers. Focus here. What do you mean? Destroy mold cores. Nice! Hey, and it had bullets inside of it. I'm wondering. It looks like there's not yet, but I'm, wonder, is, I'm wondering if that's blah, blah, blah. I'm wondering if that's a finite ability. Or is that just something we can use now? I'd seen some people theorizing that they'd written themselves into a corner with Rose. Because I think they confirmed that this DLC is the last thing they're going to do with these characters, the, uh, the, the Winters family. And I'd seen some people saying it, it's ultimately of necessity because they've now introduced somebody with superpowers. <laughs> And if you want to continue following that thread, you will eventually have to so fundamentally change what these games are. Um, and I guess there's some truth to that. But I don't know if they wrote themselves into a corner so much as that was just their plan. If they knew they were going to finish up the story of these characters soon. Like, why not, ha why not do something crazy? If I can't get around it... I need to get rid of it. Why not just like make a big choice? Because you don't have you won't have to commit to it long term. <laughs> Didn't uh what's happening? A monster coming through here? We can't use our powers on him, right? Right? I'm assuming not. Otherwise, they would probably tell me to try. We don't have the ingredients for ammo, right? Oh, we do. Thank God. Okay. You. They remind me of Violent, Violent A. Violent, the Godzilla monster. High capacity mag. Not that we're worried about high capacity 
amounts of ammo quite yet. And although we got 16 rounds, that must have came with a couple new ones. Um, let's see. Can we roast you? Perhaps not. Can roast you. Yeah, I would love to see our powers evolve in such a way that we can start using that on enemies. Like, if you're going to do it, let's just go for broke and... Start frying monsters with our hands. If you don't gotta commit to this in like the rest of the series. Though didn't wasn't there somebody with superpowers in RE6? I don't really remember RE6. Wasn't there like Wesker's son and he had I mean, granted that was not a very popular entry. And I don't think they've done anything with Wesker's son. In fact, that game was so poorly received that, you know, had to go back to the drawing board almost completely, and that's how we got these games with the, uh, the Winters. I imagine they'll go... Where is the core? I think you're supposed to... There's a core. Oh, I see. You follow, like, the... The glowing tube. Glowing tuber. If you will. Ooh, they're fast. We can just get around him, can't we? Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, bother. I think we can still juke him, though. Nope, you're here. Where's your brother? There he is. He's going to die right now. Uh, die! Okay, now there's one of you. We can definitely juke one. Yeah, we're out of here. That's the note. This door is locked. Now we have to keep an eye out for the cores to access new areas. Tell you what, I'm going to play for about another 40 minutes and I have to pee. So I'm going to go pee real quick. I'm going to play a quick ad and I'll be right back, I promise. See you soon.
All right, I'm back. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. I thought about doing that before we got started. Because I drank a bunch of tea while I was podcasting. And I was like, ah, I don't want to waste a moment. I want to get right into it. Who's out there? And then ultimately I had to go pee during the stream anyway, so. Let that be a lesson. Pee before your stream. Stream before your stream, if you know what I'm saying. Can't go through there. There's something scary out here. What? Oh. Ammo? Gunpowder. Do we have any chem fluid? Yes. I wonder if... We'll see any variety in the enemies, or if it'll just be fungi. Fungi boys. Okay, well, there's a mask on that. We know we need that. Monocular door deep in the basement. Ah, oh, okay. It's a clue on where it is. We have to go in the basement for that mask. I also see a door like that right there. Maybe that leads to the basement? Something very bad's going to happen once I get this. Let's be ready to run. No? Nothing bad? Okay. I'm always suspicious when a horror game gives you ammunition. Now, I don't really remember the layout of the castle perfectly here. It's locked. I'm not sure. So we need something to open that door. And our next hint is that we need... I mean, this looks just like that, right? Maybe that's the exit from the basement? I don't really remember. going to bed yet, Ethan. What's wrong? The f everything! None of this was supposed to happen. No. The reason I came here hasn't changed. I need that crystal. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. I'm still refusing to believe that's not Ethan. Uh, we don't need to heal yet. That's good. Even though I've been hoping for maybe some new assets in terms of setting, which I'm starting to believe we probably won't really get. Um, I am, I'm still enjoying this. I, you know, I, I really loved this game. So, just playing it again in a new context. It may not ultimately prove to be as ambitious as I would hope, but I am just excited to be playing this. Okay. How do we know which one goes which? It looks like it needs to have four eyes. 
Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Oh, it, this says, right? Bronze, silver, and gold. Okay, well, let's put the bronze one on. There you go. That looks correct. So now we can go through there. We can also go upstairs. And I remember upstairs. We got chased around by vampires a lot in this part. Vampires and Lady D. Oh, a map. Great. Get the monocular key. Okay, so we are up there near 2F. The door to the basement is downstairs. No, it's from here. Dressing room key. Okay. Yes, I sort of remember. So, you want us to go down here? I remember this area. Ah! No scope. No scope, no problem. Okay, so this doesn't look like a core. Maybe if we fall ah. Bingo. My word, you're just full of surprises. Whoa, what is that? If I remember, I remember getting chased through here. Oh, let me through there! What do you mean I can't go through there? What do you mean? What is that? Oh my god! I, 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 oh god! It's just as bad as the first, <laughs> the first time! I think we needed to go through here. This way, I didn't see my magic arrows pointing me in this direction. Oh, right, and this... <laughs> I thought I was so cool and clever, because I remembered getting chased through there before, that there was like a, a trap door you could go through in that room or something. A hole you could fall through. No, and now I got hurt. I had to go in this room. Those things chase me in here, but where is it? The monocular key was supposed to be here somewhere. It's not in this room, though. It must be close by. What was that giant juggernaut that manifested in the hallway? Don't go too weak. Well, yeah, we're definitely not going that way. Behind fireplace. Yes, I remember. I remember it. First place I went. What is the what are the limitations of our guardian angels abilities? They have like an omnipresent knowledge of where to go. They can manifest health and ammo. Ooh, we got another amplifier. Is that going to strengthen our abilities? Give us new abilities? Variant Looks flash like two. Oh, okay. Is this like a combat ability? Because I can see three things down there, so this looks like a limited use ability. Focus on enemy. Yep. Cool. Halt move enemy movements. Okay, it like freezes them. Well, that's good because as I mentioned they can catch up to you very quickly so I can see that being pretty useful but it is limited use now I wonder if it's just a cooldown thing like I used that one on the top is that gonna come back or do I have to find some way to recharge it I'm thinking I'm going to have to find a way to recharge it because I don't see any indication that it's regenerating now. This too. Sprig of White Sage. 
Is that what this does? Restores power. Yep, there it is. Be careful. Well, this power is very neat and all, but I don't... There was a lot of guys in here. Oh, cool. It's like ambient, though. Binocular key. Hey, what's this say? That feels like a good time to read this book. As previously discussed, disrupting the auto-inducers with an immune my site network can have destabilizing effects on the mold. These effects can be also observed in beings formed of mold. Rather than the cellular disintegration observed in Slorosha, however, this instead presents as a dramatic slowing of movement, practically freezing the being in place. If other bodies are in close proximity to the target, this disruption effect can spread, but only within a very limited sphere of influence. No, that's good. I... Get around it. I'm excited to see that it... It's like an area... Fuck off! Punch me? It, it's not just focus on one guy. Oh, God! Get away! Oh, shit in my mouth. Oh, shit in my mouth. Mold counter! Uh, now I'm gonna have to shoot him. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear! That went on a really long time. That was the worst death yet. I got myself into a bit of a pickle there. <laughs> bit of a bit of a jam, if you will. That was awful. Okay. Stronger now. I don't quite feel it. I guess these things, I can't be precious about them. Really? Still? My little spore powers, I just need to use them if I got them. Don't worry about conserving them. I mean, this whole sequence is built around showing me how to use it, so I guess I shouldn't. Okay. So we're going to use one here. And this room. And get this. Uh, out we go. We're going to use one to get it in the hall. Excuse me. We're gonna use one on you too because we need time to focus on this. Trophy earned, it's starting to grow on me. That's cute. Yeah, we're out of here. We're out of here, bye bye. Are they following me? Sure, sure can't hear them. If they're following me, that could be a problem. I'll go through this door. They don't like going through doors, so maybe we can reset the board here. Wait, have we already been in here? Case is empty. Or is this the way we came out? Originally? Anybody who's been watching my streams long enough knows I have a real knack for getting lost, turned around, and backtracking without realizing it. If we, we've been, is this like, was this, what is this? 
Where are we? Wow, 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 wow. Twice. Twice in one night. Man, I'm going to just start playing the game and not spend what little time left I'm a stream complaining about this, but fuck me, man. This is super discouraging to have this keep happening. Incredibly discouraging. Let me make sure we're back up and running. I just noticed, again, I don't know what the last thing you saw or heard was because I I don't realize my stream's down until I just notice it on my screen because it doesn't, like, tell me... It's, it really is so weird. It's very weird. Um, let me know if you can see and hear me. I hope you're still here, Adam. I just noticed you were in the chat, and then the stream went down. And I don't blame you. Um, there, let me put it in the chat. Okay, looks back. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is super weird. I The stream keeps going down. It's been like this the last four streams for reasons I can't seem to figure out. And doesn't seem to be on my side. Um, what's even weirder, this is a new wrinkle to it. Like, it's, so like when this when it goes down on my screen and like on my monitor where I'm playing, it still looks like I'm streaming. Like the PlayStation doesn't know I'm not streaming to anything anymore. What's even weirder is when I put in the chat when I was talking to you, Adam. I put in the chat like, "Hey, don't leave. I'm still here." the notification I get of a new comment in the chat still popped up on my screen as if I was still live. I don't, it's a real shit mess. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on, but it's okay. We were, we were definitely up here before. Yeah, we already did this. Okay. It's really, really discouraging. If I can't like reliably stay live without the stream going down, twice in a night I just don't know I don't know how seriously we can hope to really take this whole thing it's a shame and it also just totally takes me out of the moment but anyway we're back I'm only going to play this for a little bit longer um, because I don't want to stay up too late like I did the other night because then I will wake up tomorrow feeling like feeling like absolute death How's Goo Baby DLC going? Um, it's pretty good so far. It's fun. As you can see, it is in third person, unlike the base game was. Which was all in first person. And it's all right so far. We're playing as Rose, the aforementioned Goo Baby. She's got superpowers, which is pretty cool. Um, so, it's actually pretty bizarre so far. This entire, I think this entire, the predators stand united, each staring down their prey. Lots of cryptic Resident Evil puzzles and things here. Um, as you can see, we're back in the castle, which I think this entire game is going to take place. Okay, hold on. Painting of a butterfly. It's fixed in place, can't be removed. Spider painting. Okay, so the spider can be moved. Oh, no, there are... The predators stand united, each staring down their prey. So the butterfly can't be moved. But we can move... We have wolves, sheep, and frogs. Frog. Okay, well, the frog needs to go next to the butterfly. What eat frog? Um, or does the frog need to go here and the spider goes there? Unless it's a frog eating spider. I'm sure that exists, but I think maybe the frog needs to go here. The spider would go here. But we're still missing one. We have... Oh, the wolves cannot be moved. I wonder if we have to go find a painting. 
before this is going to work. I think maybe we can't do this yet. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're back in the castle. Now, this entire DLC seems to be taking place sort of in our head. The story of it is we are Rose, we're an adult, and we hate being a mold baby. We want to be a normal adult. And so we're in pursuit of this crystal, which will um, negate our powers. So we have... Um, we have immersed ourselves back into like to the the mold network, which you might remember, like preserves all the memories and lives of those who touch it and interact with it. So we're basically going on a journey through time and other people's memories to figure out how to get this crystal, which will ultimately turn us into a normal lady so all of this our actual body is like standing in a laboratory right now and all of this is sort sort of happening in our head as we're backtracking through this castle um you can see we have powers to make the mold melt away what is that compensator Oh, just the gun part? I think that just maybe boosted our accuracy. Do we still have the key? Yes. I feel like there's more for that key to do. And, um, yeah, that's, that's the story so far. It seems like the antagonist of this is, if you remember the big... The big boy, the like merchant, he seems to be the, the villain. And this also seems to be taking place hundreds of years before the base game. This, this, where we're at right now, the, the time that we're visiting. Oh, and there's also tons of Rose clones walking around too. I don't know. There's a lot of questions that haven't been answered yet. How are you doing, Adam? I do not recall a single thing, not who I am, nor how I came to be. I know nothing. And we're going to play this for maybe like 10 to 15 more minutes. My memories are as broken as the face I hide behind this mask. All that remains is the feeling, this hunger, to see others in pain, the despair in their eyes, the sounds of their screams. Who will be my next quarry? I have my minion to do my bidding. He has many faces, but no brains within those skulls. He is best hound. He is my best hound, and he will chase those rabbits down. I wonder if that's that thing we saw earlier. The merchant? Yeah, it seems like... He's the antagonist, which is interesting because I remember him being pretty benevolent to Ethan in the main story. Obviously, it was a transactional relationship. He was selling us stuff. And we were also helping him cook delicious dishes. But he was pretty supportive of our mission. Like, he seemed he seemed of the mind that we were, do, we were in the right on fighting all those terrible monsters and stuff. But, you know, people change. Maybe he was not so great once. Maybe he had a change of heart along the way, and this is before that change of heart. Um, we need to go to the basement. Which... I think the door... We can now unlock the door that's outside with this key. Out this way. Oh, and this is happening. Stay safe. We're getting these magical messages from what I assume to be Ethan. I'm trying, but it's hard when I'm being hunted by a demented giant and his creepy minions. Yeah, I guess I can't fight them all. Yes, we've been getting these guide messages. From somebody who identified themselves as Michael, but I think it's actually Ethan. Because hypothetically, his consciousness should be preserved in all of this as well. We can use our superpowers to melt away certain structures, and there's also a 
the combat. Okay, we've been in here before. There's a combat aspect to our powers too. We we're, we've run out of those so far. And yeah, see, there's uh, many duplicates of us running around here too. That's us. There's another one of us. You're good working on a double issue of a comic for Nano Remo. I never said that out loud before. Nano Rimo. That's cool. I'm very excited to see what you come up with for that. This should work here, right? It does. Fantastic. A TV? Um, I did not expect to see a TV here. I mean, I guess this could have a timeless aspect to it. It's not like we're li we've literally gone through a time machine. Sounds like whatever the, his favorite hound or whatever. I think we're about to meet it. I think we sort of met it before, but I ran away very quickly so we didn't have to confront it. Welcome to the Gallery of Despair. Oh, thanks. A wondrous display of those few who succeeded in obtaining at least one mask. Set your sights upon those chosen few whose final moments of despair are preserved forever in this gallery. Witness in this collection the light of life from a different perspective. That sick bastard. I did not expect him to be... I didn't expect him to even be in this, let alone be the antagonist. Okay, good. We can recharge our combat fungus powers. But also bad, because that means we're going to need to use them. I don't want to waste it on this guy. He's just here by himself. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up here pretty soon. This isn't very long from my understanding. I think I've seen most people finish it between three and four hours. Hey, I remember this room. Oh, yeah, it was a puzzle thing. Although the solution of the puzzle is presumably different um, because it's, instead of statues, it looks to be horribly mutilated copies of me. Um, can we read it or just push it? Oh, here's the, the clue. Although I have just drowned, the arrow's bite doth sting. They hanged me long ago, yet I feel everything. But still the worst, not last nor first, the sharpened blade did ring. Are we just doing it in that order? Drowned, arrows, hanged, stabbed. This looks like drowned. Oh, it comes right back out, though. Drowned. Arrows. Hanged. Stabbed. They don't stay in place, though. They come right back out. Although I have just drowned, the arrows bite the sting. They hanged me long ago, yet I feel everything. But still the worst... Not last nor first. Oh, not last nor... F okay, hold on. It, the sharpened blade did ring. But it's not last? I, they drowned first. Then the arrows stung. No, they hanged them long ago. I'm a dum-dum. They hanged them long ago. So hanged. Drowned. Oh, but this can't be... The, but the blade's not first nor last. So <laughs> hanged. Blade, drown arrow, maybe? 
No, hanged is first. That's not hanged, that's drowned. Right? Okay, never mind. It, it didn't go back, so hold on. Drowned. Hanged. Blade arrow? Oh, he already had the... Okay, that's what's going on here. Sorry. Okay, so yes. Hanged. Drowned. Blade. Oh, did we, like, accidentally put all of them in the right spot the, while we were fucking around with it? That was weird. Okay, and that looks to go down to the basement. Let's see. Before we do that... Actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to wrap up. But let me see if there's anything else of interest over here. Locked from the other side. Okay. Well, you know what? I was promising myself I'd end at 11. I honestly don't want to. Because <laughs> I feel like we just got started. And I'm having a lot of fun playing this. And I feel like it. we just barely scratched the surface on this. But it's not very long. Um, and I don't want to stay up super late. I did that on the last stream. And I woke up feeling so miserable. And just awful. And I don't want to do that to myself again. So I'm actually going to end it here, which is a shame, but um, this isn't very long. So we'll leave a little bit left to experience and we'll get it next time. Um, thanks for popping in, Adam. Sorry to cut and run on you so quickly after you've joined me here. Um, hope you're doing well, but thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. And uh, I'll splice this together and get it up on YouTube eventually. Probably not anytime soon since... I had to keep stopping and starting the stream, but it is what it is. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great night. I will come back for presumably the rest of this before too long. Um, I don't know when exactly. Maybe Sunday night. I'm going to be pretty busy through the weekend. But maybe Sunday night we'll finish this up and maybe check out the Mercenaries too if it ends early. Um, cool. Well, have a great night. Appreciate you. Keep working on that story, my friend, and I can't wait to see more of it. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Good night. Stay moldy.